Hey guys, it's Paul from the Orlando Magic UK here with a breakdown of uh, the Boston Celtics as we continue our breakdown of all 30 NBA teams before the season starts here. So last season, the uh, it was a strong season for the Boston Celtics going 57 and 25 um, as they dreamed of a 18th championship and finished in second place in the East. The playoffs saw um, series wins over both the Atlanta Hawks and the Philadelphia 76ers but they were far from convincing in uh, the fine, in the Eastern Conference Final, losing Game 7 to the Miami Heat in Boston, and that must have left a bit of taste. Uh, season 2023-24 is going very much to be about Boston securing home court advantage for the playoffs and going back to the NBA Final in search of that elusive 18th title. Uh, the decisions made this summer will in no small way decide that future. Um, remaining on the squad is the team's best player, Jason Tatum. Derek White, who proved to be such a solid supporting starting role last time round. Um, and veteran Al Horford continue with that continuity. The summer was in some ways a seismic one for Boston and saw a mini rebuild executed. They made Jalen Brown the highest paid player in NBA history as he agreed a five year, $304 million Supermax extension. Nice work if you can get it. Peyton Pritchard also got paid um, as, as he got extended. However, and perhaps more of a shock, uh, was the Celtics moved away from the player that many considered to be the heart, soul and leader of that team um, in the process losing elite defence from the three-time Defensive Player of the Year, Marcus Smart. A second starter, Robert Williams III, was also traded, um, but they also, and they also said goodbye to um, defensive backup Grant Williams. But the returns were hugely impressive for what they actually gave away. Um, and yeah, they could be the missing piece for Boston to push forward with their future. It saw key additions in the shape of Drew Holiday. Um, he arrived as part of the Rob Williams trade. Um, Krista Pazingas, he arrived in uh, the Smart trade. Holiday is clearly an upgrade uh, over Marcus Smart in the defensive scheme and brings tenacious defensive attitude. Um, the seven foot three Pazingas, he brings size and length. Um, he's undoubtedly a quality player. But there is a caveat. That's when he's healthy. He's been out a lot of time. Last season in Washington was the first time he'd featured in 60-plus games uh, since 2016-17 season. Cheaper, but an important role-playing import includes Wenyan Wen Gabriel, Svai Mihailuk, Lamar Stevens and O'Shea, Br ah, put my teeth in, O'Shea Brissett. Uh, subtractions aside from Smart and Robert Williams, um, Malcolm Brogdon, Danilo Gallinari, Grant Williams, Blake Griffin and Mike Muscala. So on a projected starting five, we are looking at point guard being Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown at shooting guard, Jason Tatum as small forward, Kristab Pazingas at power forward and Al Horford at the centre. It's a, it's a strong team and they do have some depth on the bench. So it'll be an interesting season to see where the Celtics can push on to. If you've enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up and go Magic!